Greetings District 112 members from your District Director Sharon Kerr Phillips and welcome to our June edition of the District Newsletter. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Kuro Koriro or Microsoft to our district. Congratulations to our club sponsors Wendy Wycliffe, Elizabeth Fullion and club mentors Dean Ching Yi and Shyamal Shamal Maharaj. I know that you've put a lot of hard work into this and I know that this club is going to go from strength to strength. Elizabeth and I have been working hard with our website team. There's still a lot of more work to do, but we are delighted to advise that we are one of the three finalists of the People's Choice Accessibility Business Awards Digital Space. To mention just a few, thank you to Tony Sharp, Katrina Matic, Peter Harrington, Rose Oerstazen, Jonathan Darby and Joanna MacDonald for giving us the awareness of how we can constantly strive to make Toastmasters accessible to everyone in New Zealand. Last month, I had the privilege of attending the TWG Tata function. Eight of their members delivered testimonials as to why they had joined Toastmasters and what they had gained from Toastmasters in such a short time. It was incredible hearing these stories and seeing how quickly Toastmasters can give people confidence and change lives. I've been reflecting on that meeting and I thought each of us really needs to look at why we joined Toastmasters. What were our goals? How have our goals changed? And have we moved forward and set new goals for ourselves to keep ourselves engaged with Toastmasters? Our club officers need to make sure we are listening to our current members and helping them to identify new goals and how to achieve those goals. This is a crucial aspect and this is us focusing on our core values, holding quality club meetings and also strongly supporting membership retention. Think about your past members. Did they achieve their goals? Are there aspects that are now available in Toastmasters that would be applicable to them? Think about contacting your past members and inviting them to a meeting to come and see the new opportunities that Toastmasters now offers. I would like to commend our team on having done an excellent job so far this year. Most of our district officers were performing their role for the very first time, which afforded excellent leadership growth within our district. I encourage clubs to ensure they continue to elect new leaders onto their committees and have their more seasoned Toastmasters mentoring these new leaders. I'd encourage seasoned club officers and, and district leaders to always give our newer leaders the chance to find their wings and fly. As a seasoned officer, jointly set the vision of your team and your new members. Give the newer members the opportunity to find their voices. As seasoned members, before stating your opinion, give our newer members the chance to speak first. They may well know the answers and have valuable new ideas. As a seasoned member, never quote protocol or policy unless you are 100% sure you are up to date with the recent changes that Toastmasters have made. Our seasoned members are respected and seen as a source of authority, and duly so. But it is crucial that they are providing up-to-date and correct advice. And when they found out they haven't, please go back and correct that. We need to have that value of integrity held high. To enable us to recognize our district leaders, I would love you to send me your commend, recommend, commend feedback about your experience with this year's district officers. What worked well for you? And what could we have done better? This will help us to serve you better. Should you have had a disappointing experience at any time, please let us know. We really want to improve so that our Toastmasters experience can be as good as possible. We'd also love to hear your feedback of what you really enjoyed about our district leaders. At our May District Awards dinner, we recognized some of the Triple Crown and Distinguished Awards Toastmasters Awards. As I was out of action when the reports rolled over, 
I was most grateful to be given a list of our award winners. On the night, however, it became apparent that a few people's names had been admitted from this list. Due to the privacy laws, Toastmasters International is no longer able to provide you with a list of the previous year awards. However, I've explained the situation to them and I'm pleased to be able to attach the correct list of Triple Crown Award winners and DTM recipients for the 2019-2020 year. I'd invite everyone who was not recognized in the 2019-2020 year to attend our 2020-2021 District Awards Dinner being held on the 18th of September in Auckland. We would like to recognize you and of course our 2020-2021 Triple Crown and DTM Award winners. In our last newsletter, we advised of the digital marketing and advertisements that were going to be placed in the local newspapers through Stuff and through Neighbourly. A big thank you to Elizabeth and Wendy for turning this into a reality. This replaced a project we had in, in mind that Toastmasters International were not happy with. Our brief to Stuff was to have 950 members join Toastmasters before the end of June. Hopefully, this marketing will bring guests to your meetings. Please let us know if you need any suggestions on how to convert your guests into members. A final reminder, please ensure your educational awards are not only marked off in Basecamp, but also registered on the Toastmasters International website. Let your efforts and hard work this year count and be recognized. All the best for the last few weeks of this Toastmasters year. We'll be sending out a final newsletter at the end of June, acknowledging many of our members for their outstanding contributions this year. Enjoy the last few weeks. Hello, fellow Toastmasters. It's Stephen Budai, your Program Quality Director, here with our June newsletter. This is the last month where it all happens. The year's efforts all come to fruition. Are you going to achieve your personal goals? Will your club achieve its, its goals as well? We're so, so close at this stage. If we need some more education awards, have you approached your VP Education and got them to log it into Club Central? If not, make sure they do do that. The district has a target of 67 clubs to be distinguished and 76 clubs to be distinguished for select distinguished district. Currently we have 35, so we're just 32 short. And as I said a moment ago, we're so close, we're the one member or two members short or one goal short or two goals short, and they're all education. So make it happen, guys. I know you can do it. The, the, the district has the history of achieving its DCP, and I'm sure it'll happen again. Here's one for you. Can you see this badge that I'm wearing? It's the Triple Crown Badge. It's awarded to all the members who achieved three part three levels during the course of the Toastmasters year. And I have got a goal which I really want to have happen. The current leader, oh gosh, this lady, she's just a, a no-all to as far as I'm concerned, but an absolute wonderful person is Elizabeth Volyun. She's got not five, not eight, but ten goals. So let's see if we can push her off a perch or just move her down the perch and take over that mantle. Can you make it happen? I'm sure that you can, because there must be plenty of Toastmasters out there who are sitting on awards. There must be some of you out there sitting on nearly achieving your advanced leadership silver, the last point you need for your distinguished Toastmaster under the Legacy Award. Get it done. You've only got to the end of this month, June 30th. We've also got ABMs coming up. Please, if you haven't as yet, get them done and get them logged into Toastmasters International, plus pass on the information through to our administration manager, James Hippolyte. We need that information uh, for the start of the Toastmasters year. And my last request, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters, I need two more area directors at least, and they're in from or should I say, Division L. Susie Alps is our incoming Division L director, and she would love to have a full house. Let's make her new year start off on the right foot by getting two more area directors. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure being your program quality director this year. 
and I'm hoping that each of you have achieved and have enjoyed your year as much as I have. Thank you. Greetings Toastmasters. In the June newsletter, I have the following updates and a couple of reminders. First is a thank you to all the area directors who have submitted their area club visit reports by the 31st of May. Some great information on these reports, so thank you once again. We are sitting at 91.7% of our area director reports submitted on time. The second reminder is the club officer list needs to be submitted to Toastmasters International through Club Central by the 30th of June. We have 108 clubs who have submitted their reports on time, so thank you, well done. It gives you a great start for the new Toastmasters year for your DCP goals. And we have 60 clubs still to submit their reports. Now, there's a number of reasons for that. They still have their annual business meeting to be held, or some of those clubs may not be renewing. But just a reminder, do submit those reports as soon as you can. Submit it to TI Club Central. Coach or support for clubs. Now, this is ongoing, but particularly clubs with 12 or fewer members, we really encourage you to think about the benefits of having a club coach, someone who'll work with your executive team directly. And I'm very appreciative that Melvin Powell has agreed to be the club coach chair for the incoming Toastmasters year. So that means you can approach him directly. We will set up a new email address for him specifically if you have need for a club coach or you have or you want to be a club coach his role will be involved in ensuring you have the skills and the training you need to be an effective club coach promotions we've had quite a few recent digital promotions elizabeth and i've been working on ensuring we increase our exposure for our district so recently we've had digital billboards in Hamilton. We are looking at sponsored content with stuff and recently also put in some major papers, Wake at a Time, Taranaki Press, great articles on, well, more advertisement about why to join Toastmasters. Quite catchy, the blue background is on, on my digital um, background right now. The key dates for 2021 and 22 have been mapped out and these have been loaded already to our district calendar. So that's club officer training dates for round one, round two. The district executive meetings, which involves district directors, including area directors. And then the district council meetings that are also in our calendar. And they are they involve, of course, club presidents and VPEs. The club officer training dates will be emailed out to all of the clubs in the next week, so look out for those emails as well. So thank you everybody, take care, see you soon.